Hey guys, Dominique here. So, one of my friends came through and I have something awesome to show you guys. It's been a long time coming. I've wanted to do this for years and I can't believe it's happening now. Are you guys ready? I hope you are. Ta-da! Look at what we got. So, friend of mine had a truck parked and he didn't have a driver for it he wasn't looking for a driver for it and so he sold me this beauty that looks ridiculously like dt3 but it's a little bit older well a lot a bit older than dt3 but it's still a really nice truck so what we're looking at here is a 2003 Kenworth T800 dump truck and a 98 Sturdy Weld dump trailer. So that's why they're slightly different, but they still look pretty sweet together. Um, oh. Walk you guys around here, take a look. It's all full of water. It's been sitting here overnight. So I drove it home and because I have no place to turn it around, I backed it all the way down the driveway from the cul-de-sac. So that was fun in the dark. It's a four axle pup, but it's got the drop axle just like DT3. Basically, it's pretty similar. So the thing is though, I have not checked everything yet um, as to function wise, whether it dumps or not, because the price was the price was the price. That's kind of how it goes. And he said it worked and he's a friend of mine and I believe him. So we're gonna fire this baby up and we're gonna we're gonna see if everything works. I know all the lights work and uh, we check the brakes and stuff, uh, but dump truck things we didn't check. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that now. So let's get, I better open this dang hood. Okay, I can't hold the camera and roll the hood at the same time, so gotta go. Okay, so we got a cat under the hood here. It's exactly what my husband wanted. I've driven more trucks with Cummins than I have cats, but this is what he wanted. So it ended up working out perfectly. Um, he's pretty happy with it. He's still mad that we have to have a Kenworth for me, but I told him if we buy more trucks, we can get all Peterbilts for him. I just want to drive Kenworth.
do so far is adjust the clutch. So that's been pretty good. Um, I have only drove it home. I haven't actually like really driven it, driven it. And I've only driven it at night. So I'm getting pretty excited to work it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the PTO in right now and we're gonna see, we're gonna see how everything works here. So hang on. Okay. So just like normal, oh, I had the high idle on, it's down now. So we push the clutch all the way in, come over here to the tower, we flip the PTO switch, light came on, so that's a good sign. We let the clutch out, the mirrors are all fogged up because it's freaking freezing here. Can't really see anything in the mirrors. frozen too so I'll definitely get a hammer and check that also the connection to the trailer there's all kinds of things that could be so if you guys have been through it before when I couldn't get my trailer dogs to open that was a year that was almost two years ago now so come on over here here to the back of the trailer and it looks like they're not open with so much water I'm gonna guess that they're frozen and it being so cold out here but I can always go in the shop and grab a hammer okay guys you guys are gonna love what I found to whack this with it is a hammer that I painted pink years ago so people wouldn't take it and somehow it ended up in my husband's stuff. So that's funny, but. Ah. One whack. Okay, so they're open now, that's good. Mostly open. 
partially over. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, now it's open. Some sand. Typical 23 year old dump trailer, I guess. Still pretty nice, I'm pretty proud of it. Okay, so that works. Now, let's go see if we can get the reach to unlock after we drop that box down. probably just need to be adjusted. Yeah, I need a I need a real hammer for that. Uh okay, let's take a look. So it looks like there's quite a bit of clearance between the reach and the tailgate. So that's really good. Um still you want to be careful when you pull away. So I'm probably gonna have to Seat, but when my when my husband was replacing the seat, 
ate, he found some mold growing underneath the seat, which is pretty normal here if a truck doesn't get run and the moisture's not uh, dried out of it daily or mostly daily, it has a tendency to start to grow mold inside just like on the plastic and stuff. So I gotta do that and I don't know what else I gotta do. Um, I have decals coming for the side of the truck and numbers. That's one thing, you guys could tell me what number I should start with because everybody's been telling me that I shouldn't start with one. So what's a good option? Um, should it be 101? Should I just pick a random number like 1001? I don't know. Um, uh, my husband suggested that I start with BD1, like Beyond Dirt 1. And I don't even, I don't know what I should do. But you guys can let me know in the comments. All right, guys, I know I didn't show you a lot about the truck, but um, it was just a quick run through. And maybe comment below, let me know what you do want to see, and I'll get that covered for you. Um, the only thing I'm waiting on right now to get rolling is truck tickets, and they're supposed to be in the mail today. So hopefully, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, but hopefully I'm going to be rolling pretty soon, and I will be able to show you guys some more dump trucking. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.